Hello, I'm Gregory Andrews, Australia's Threatened Species Commissioner. I'm in Scribbly Gum Woodland, about an hour and a half's drive from Canberra in southeastern New South Wales. And I want to share a story with you about a remarkable Australian eucalyptus tree. Did you know that Australia has over 700 eucalyptus species? And Sydney alone has more eucalyptus tree species than all of England's tree species put together. No Australian doesn't know what the smell of eucalyptus in the bush is. It's one of those things that really defines us as a nation. But many of our eucalyptus trees are at risk of extinction. Of the 700 trees that we have, 75 are at risk of extinction. And this tree here behind me is one of them. It's a pretty special tree and I'd like to tell you more about it. This is a Mongalo Mallee. It's one of only six Mongalo Malleys left in the world but also it's older than the giant pyramids of Egypt. This tree here behind me was growing before Buddha, Muhammad or Jesus were walking on earth. That's how old it is and that's a remarkable thing to protect and save and keep growing in the Australian landscape. And that's why Minister Josh Frydenberg has approved for the Mongalo Mallee to be one of 30 Australian plants that the Australian Government, under the Threatened Species Strategy, will recover by 2020. This target will ensure that by 2020, we have a lot more than six Mongalo Mallees growing in Australia. One of the threats to the Mongalo Mallee is that its numbers have simply got so low, it's really hard for it to pollinate and for viable seeds to be produced because eucalyptus trees, when they're flowering to produce viable seeds, need to cross-pollinate with other trees. And many of the Mongalo Mallee trees are quite a fair way away from each other. So through assisted pollination, where volunteers and scientists can help cross-pollinate these trees, I know we'll be able to get a lot more seeds and grow the population of the Mongalo Mallee. In the long run, I'd like to also see the Mongalo Mallee growing in people's backyards and front yards. I can't think of anything more patriotic as an Australian than choosing to grow a threatened tree. Choosing to grow a tree that's at risk of extinction in your backyard. And so the private sector and nurseries can have a role in this tree's recovery too. And in the future I hope to see many Mongalo Malleys growing in front yards in Canberra and other places in Australia. If you support the Mongalo Mallee and you'd like to see more of them growing across the Australian landscape, please give this video a thumbs up and share it to show your support for our eucalyptus trees and particularly for this tree that actually is over a hundred times older than my granddad was when he died at 97. Thank you.